my nose would get itchy right before I start recording a video. Oh my god, I'm Santa Claus! <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome to a different type of video. One where I haven't yet seen the show that we're gonna talk about. <laughs> um, I thought that this would be a little bit entertaining for some of the folks at home who are stuck at home <laughs> and just have YouTube on loop. And you know, for the folks who are just watching anime because the winter season of 2020 is about to wrap up and there are a lot of shows that I haven't yet seen There are a lot of shows that I haven't yet finished watching or haven't even seen period And so I thought that it would be fun to go ahead and watch the 13th episode or the last episode of the season and then crawl oh, Before I do that <laughs> So I thought that it would be fun to watch the last episode of said airing show and then try to figure out how we got here. What happened in episode one that led us to moving to episode 12, 13, what have you. And, uh, and I'm gonna call it like episode 13, how we got here. Cause I am not creative with names. I hate naming things. <laughs> but, um, Yes, so what we're talking about today is ID Invaded. And I realize that this is a mystery show, so it kind of already took the air out of my lungs. Um, oh no, I shouldn't have said that. But, it's a mystery show. <laughs> if I feel like that the, that the reveal of the, the mystery compels me enough to warrant watching the show, I might just. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, so I'm going to pause the video for a moment and I'm going to go watch episode 13, talk about it just enough, and then give my predictions on what happened in episode 1 that led us to episode 13. And then I will go watch episode 1 and just tell you guys how completely wrong I am. <laughs> and uh, see what I actually did get right. <laughs> so just as I expected, that was going to be weird <laughs> I, I was definitely lost and that's a given but that's kind of the whole point the whole point of this is to check out this last episode and try to connect the pieces as they're unfolding within the episode and see how far uh, right or wrong I am but uh, okay I guess just a quick recap of what I was that I saw the episode started off with a showdown between the main character uh, his partner and the villain of the series I guess and so <laughs> it's kind of interesting they're kind of uh, going back and forth they're uh, clearly in some kind of like mind world which I think I do remember that being said in the description of the show um, which is I, I expected as such but then I guess apart from their battle there's like other stuff going on with other policemen I want to say and they're all fighting the good fight from different ends so it's kind of like we're in the middle of a war scene where like there's the this front and then there's this other front and then there's this other front with uh, this other character who who's another police officer and he's all geared up in protective armor and he's uh, struggling to walk to where he's going. Uh, I think he's finding himself uh, vomiting, and he he has a he has an earpiece where he's talking to somebody who's like at dispatch or at control center or whatever. <clears throat> and he finally arrives at the uh, to this uh, mystery girl who's long long black hair, uh, green eyes. I want to say, kind of reminded me of one of the girls from uh, the, from Kim Possible. Y'all know the one. And um, oh no, my camera is off. She is about to be killed by the officer. The officer um, decides not to kill her. It seems like there's some kind of romantic uh, romantic chemistry going on between the two even though they're not suited to be together in this world uh, so it seems and then she decides that she's gonna kill herself because he won't but then he didn't even have the bullets to kill her so he never intended to actually kill her and she goes into something called a well which is just like a body of water 
and everybody wakes up <laughs> um oh yeah and the you know the main character and his uh partner uh they finally caught the 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 main baddie i guess uh they killed him and sealed off the exits from this uh dreamlike world and just waited for them to be rescued from the girl going into the well or whatever judging by what it is that i saw i have a feeling that each one of these characters that i seen today and you know from the main character the partner um the cop who who has that interaction with the girl they're all going to be introduced in some type of fashion in the first episode though maybe they're not all going to be meeting at the same time my guess is that the cop that was shielded is probably not going to meet the girl until like maybe episode three four five ish i i don't know <laughs> um we'll see when i see episode one um oh and the the main bad guy uh the sophisticated serial killer uh he's going to be amongst them in episode one i want to say um because it's i think it's really easy to just put your villain amongst the cast rather than trying to figure out who it's going to be later on and have it and figure out how to introduce them it's just introduce them early on and then have them do the bad things i've seen how they did it in a race as well my guess is that the main character and uh and his partner they do not click whatsoever during uh their first introdu introduction he seems very peculiar about his style of doing detective work and um the his partner she seems very upbeat very energetic in her approach to doing detective work uh we kind of see that at the end where she's like telling everybody they're like all right everybody we're going to go catch a serial killer have fun on your side of the <laughs> on your end of the mission or good luck or whatever um and that's not gonna mesh well between the two of them i think the main character is gonna do something cool that will probably win her over by the end of episode one and if not between episode two and three is where he'll get her trust but i think that they're gonna clash it seems like he had amnesia like from the introduction or the uh the first couple minutes of episode 13 when they uh the the, the main bad guy and um and the main character uh are talking while engaging in a in in combat he says oh you finally learned my name or something like that and he's like yeah how am i gonna get revenge on the guy with who without even knowing his name or something like that so i think that we're gonna start off with maybe him like his eyes closed and then just waking up and then realizing that he has amnesia and um but maybe he has like just intuitive detective skills and everybody's just trying to guide him along to be like well this is who you were and this is your partner and you guys are gonna work together but he's like so not fully there I guess I I, I don't know um <laughs> it's just kind of my guess let's see uh I think I want to say that that's it um I think maybe the main character interacts with the girl oh the girl the one who went who goes into the well um I think it's gonna be very clear right from the get-go that she is the problem with everybody going into these dream worlds and uh and i guess having nightmares it's uh shown throughout the episode that this is the case but i think that we're gonna like maybe see where it starts off with just a couple people and then maybe throughout the season or, or throughout the show we'll see more people and more people getting affected and until it becomes a problem and i think that that when it becomes more of a problem apart from just like a, a few people i think that that's when she meets the character that she was having that standoff wish and and uh, that standoff with trying to tell him to kill her <laughs> i wanted to make sure i was saying that right <laughs> there's probably multiple suicide attempts throughout her journey in the season and she fails or she's just begging people to kill her and nobody is willing to do it though i don't know why 
All right, so I guess I'm gonna go watch episode one now and uh, see what's up. <laughs> okay, so I just finished watching episode one, and it was not <laughs> at all like I expected it to be. I guess um, I was definitely wrong a lot of the time, but some of the things that I seen in episode one kind of clicked for me when I was watching episode thirteen. Uh, and um, one of them being that this well or this dreamlike world or other world, which is kind of cleverly put name together, um, you can only access it if you're a, kill a killer, which explains why the uh, John Wells character or, or the, um, the main antagonist at the <laughs> end of the, of the show why he keeps talking about like oh only a killer knows what it takes like both of you guys have killed or yada yada right it, it explains so much um i kind of missed that detail and and i kind of feel like i should have picked up on that when it was first introduced in uh in episode 13 i guess well it wasn't first introduced in episode 13 but you know introduced to me <laughs> anyways so I was right about the main character waking up with amnesia and then doing the whole like, you know, <laughs> that moment <laughs> where his eyes just kind of like burst open and, and uh, he's in a bed or whatever and uh, feeling amnesic. I was right about that. However, I was not right about him already being in the dream world. I kind of feel like, yeah, of, of course, that's where they would introduce the character because that's kind of like the whole gimmick of the show is that you can, I guess, explore scenarios for murderers within a dream world, within their psyche or something. I, I don't fully understand it, but it's pretty cool. I actually really liked episode one. <clears throat> I, I think I actually kind of really liked the show. Uh, I wouldn't mind wa continuing to watch it, but uh, okay. I said that the, the the main character and his partner would meet in this episode, and they did, but not in the way that I uh, uh, predicted. No, um, she shows up at the very end of the episode, being a member of the family that are actually victims or something, um, and that was kind of like the whole cliffhanger, because. You know, we, we throughout the episode we see her being the rookie, um, following like you know like the senior officer while they're analyzing. I think that, I think they're part they're part of a an al analytical uh, investigation team or something. They're they're supposed to be analyzing the crime scenes and such. And she disappears and then reappears in the well. So my question now is, did she kill somebody in the? from the move to the the well or I, I, I don't know um, also when main character says uh, looks at the girl also <laughs> in the first episode uh, so it turns out that this this show is all about fingering out how this girl who in by episode 13 is well and alive how she died yes I was right that she wasn't going to meet her romantic interest the officer in the body armor in episode 1 I was right about that because she's dead <laughs> the character that comes out when when main character says uh, you're inside her get out is a character that was a part of the battle at the end I completely forgot about it when I was doing the prediction but he has like half his face kind of like guard up or burnt or something he comes out and I don't really know how he plays in but I think that when I said that all of the characters that are involved in episode 13 are in episode 1 I was correct as far as I can tell <laughs> the girl's powers uh, and why she's important or in by episode 13 it's not revealed here um, as far I, I still don't know why it is that she's special besides you know making people fall asleep I don't know it's because she's like diseased or something or she just has like some kind of mutation that affects people around them um, but there's a lot of questions that were answered between episode 1 and uh, 13 and for that I think this was successful <laughs> but um, yeah I think I'm gonna continue watching this show it was uh, it was interesting I think this is probably an interesting way of 
going about <laughs> watching shows because you get skip everything and go to the end and see. I was like, hmm, did that ending entice me enough to watch the show? Because for a lot of people, uh, the ending does make or break the show for people. And you don't really want to sit through a whole show just to watch an ending and <laughs> crumble. So yeah, that was that was interesting. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I, th it was fun. It was This was a fun video to record. Um, and I would like to continue doing more. Let me know what you guys think. Um, did you guys watch the show? What, uh, what did you guys think of ID Invaded? I think that's the name of the show. I thought it was really cool. I think the character designs are really nice. Um, and then just kind of like the concept of, you know, being in the dream world, uh, like the main character going through the world and piecing it back together with his, uh, his severed hand was really cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, ID Invaded or it invaded or however you say it. Uh, it was a cool show. Break, comment, subscribe, uh, yada yada, and I'll catch you guys on um, next time. Bye, ciao.